Hi, in this lesson we're going to talk about your most important tools to play the guitar, which are your fingers, the right hand and the left hand. Now let's talk about the right hand first because it's a little bit easier. Now if you're going to play with a pick, you're going to play with a pick if you're going to strum the chords, okay? So you're strumming... If you're strumming, you're gonna have to use the pick, especially if you have an acoustic guitar or electric guitar. Why? Because strumming without a pick might hurt your fingers, and the tone of the sound that the pick produces while strumming is way better when um, than when you strum with your uh, bare fingers. Even if you have nails on the right hand, which we're going to talk about this uh, in a moment, uh, the tone that the pick produces is far better than uh, the right hand fingers. Now, sometimes we play with a pick uh, in the strumming or in the melodies, uh, like Django Bells. Now, just for an example, even if you're playing a solo or anything like this, you're going to play it with a pick. Uh, from Django Bells to Eric Clapton solos, uh, it will be done by a pick, all right? Um, now, the pick can also be used to play something called a broken chord or arpeggios. Uh, so instead of strumming, we're going to play something like this. Or... But another way or a better way to do this is with your fingers. So let me put the pick down and talk about the right hand fingers now. Now, we have five fingers. We're going to use four of them. Uh, which is the thumb, the index, the middle finger, and the ring finger. Now, the name of these fingers are Pima. P, I, M, and A. Now, why this is P or not T? Some books, they call it T for thumb. Some books in the classical world, it's called P because it's com it, or it comes from the Spanish name Pulgar, uh, which means thumb in Spain or Spanish. So, P, I, M, A. Okay, again, the names of the fingers came from or come from Spain. Uh, so, in short, we call it Pima, P-I-M-A. So, we will use the Pima. And instead of the thing, or instead of the pick, sorry, because uh, with fingers, you have four picks, not only, not just one. You have four uh, fingers to play the uh, arpeggios or the strings which is gonna make the process a little bit easier and faster and sound good. Even your hand, the look of your hand will be better when you play with your fingers than when you play with a pick. Now, I totally recommend that you start growing some nails. Now, not long nails, okay, because if it's too long, it will work against you. But if it's a little bit long on the right hand, it will work for you when we get to the point when we play the arpeggio, which I think in chapter, uh, seven or eight, or seven and eight, when we do the Travis picking and uh, all these uh, fun songs. Uh, so it will be toward the end. So if you can start growing it from now, that will be great. Now let's talk about the left hand. Now the left hand, uh, the opposite. I don't want any nails on the left hand because at any point, okay, the, the, the left hand nails will always work against you, especially when we play a chord. Uh, it will not make you press very well behind the frets, so the sound will become or muffled or muted because you cannot press hard enough because the nails on the left hand is preventing you from pressing down very well, okay? We need the sound to be clear, Okay, and loud, uh, so left hand nails uh, will prevent you from doing or achieve this. Uh, when we play with the fingers, or when we study the chord charts, like in the next video, we're going to refer uh, to the left hand fingers with numbers. So the thumb has no numbers and has no name, uh, it just sits on the back behind fret number two usually. Now try to avoid doing this. Okay, uh, try to make the left hand thumb straight and behind the thumb. Okay, you can do, you know, something like that, but, but not this one. Uh, and I will tell you why. 
the lower the thumb, the more you will be forced to play with the tips of the finger. And this is exactly what we want. You need to press with the left hand or the left finger tips right behind the middle fret. In the middle it's fine, but right behind the fret is the best sound or the best tone that comes from the guitar. So this is in the middle. Okay, and this is from or be right behind it. So it, it doesn't matter, but sometimes it will. So try to make it behind or right behind the fret. Not, of course, on the metal fret itself, because this will produce a muffet sound. And uh, do your best to play with the tip of the fingers. And the only way I know to force your fingers to play with the tip is to lower your left hand thumb so your hand goes up like this. Not too far or not too much, okay? Just a little bit. If you see this line here, you can see this line here. Try to make this line parallel to the guitar. So it's not underneath the guitar like that, okay? It's facing the guitar. The line is facing the guitar. And at any point, do not make the palm of the hand touch the guitar, okay? Even if you think you're going fine and you're doing producing a nice sound, okay? Don't make the palm of the hand touches the guitar. The palm of the hand is always away from the guitar and you're playing with the tips of the fingers uh, on the fretboard and right behind the fret. Okay, try, you can try this exercise. I'm not telling you to do it. We're going to do um, a lot of exercises in the next videos, but I'm just showing you uh, the way to put the left hand on the guitar. Okay, I'm not asking you to do the exercise. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so in this video, we'll learn the right hand and the left hand fingers. The right hand are called Pima, P-I-M-A. We will use that later on, but for now, you can use the pick. Try to grow some nails on your right hand. The left hand fingers called Finger one, finger two, finger three, and finger four. Um, can't remember if I said that in the video or not, but anyway, uh, it's really easy to remember. So this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. And you'll see it uh, in the book, the fingers, numbers of the left hand, one, two, three, four. And we use the tip of the finger uh, to press right behind the fret. And we do that by making the thumb, the left hand thumb straight and behind fret number two. That's all you need to know about the right hand and the left hand for now. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.